Hello, and welcome to the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast, your trusted source for HIV testing with access to over 4,500 plus testing labs across the United States. For more information, check the link in the description below or the bio section of our channel. In today's episode, we're diving into some groundbreaking news in HIV research, the latest updates on Moderna's mRNA 1574 HIV vaccine trial. This promising vaccine candidate could represent one of the biggest scientific leaps in the fight against HIV, harnessing the same powerful mRNA technology that changed the world during the COVID-19 pandemic. Researchers are seeing encouraging immune responses, and early trial results suggest that this approach might finally unlock a pathway toward long-term protection against HIV infection. But what exactly makes this vaccine so different? How does it work? And what does this mean for millions of people still waiting for an effective HIV vaccine? We'll break down the science, progress, and future potential of Moderna's mRNA-1574 trial in simple, easy-to-understand language so you can stay informed about one of the most important medical developments of our time. So stay tuned, because this might just be the start of a new era in HIV prevention and global health innovation. Could this be the next major step toward an HIV cure or long-term protection? Let's find out together! And before we begin, if you or someone you know is looking for quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing anywhere in the United States, visit HIVRNATestGuide.com. Now, let's explore how this incredible discovery could revolutionize HIV research and what it means for millions around the world. You know, for decades, the search for an HIV vaccine has felt like one of modern medicine's biggest, most frustrating challenges. But now, a new candidate is stirring up some serious hope, and it's using technology that, well, has basically become a household name. So let's get into it. What exactly is the mRNA-1574 HIV vaccine, and why is everyone saying it could be a total game changer? This is the big one, right? This is the question that scientists, doctors, and communities all over the world have been desperately asking for more than 40 years. And for the very first time, it feels like the answer might, just might, be getting closer, all thanks to a completely new way of thinking about the problem. So to really get why this new vaccine is such a huge deal, we first have to appreciate just how unbelievably tough this fight has been. Why on earth has a successful HIV vaccine dodged science for so long? Well, the core problem is the virus itself. HIV is incredibly cunning. I mean, it attacks the very immune cells that are supposed to fight it off, and on top of that, it mutates at a wild pace. That means it's constantly changing its disguise, making it this impossible moving target that old school vaccines just couldn't lock onto. And this really lays out the whole conflict perfectly. On one side, you've got this complex, shape-shifting enemy, but on the other, you have this totally new battle plan a flexible technology that doesn't try to chase the virus, but instead teaches our own bodies what to look for from the inside. It's a complete shift in strategy. And that brings us to the potential hero of our story, MMRNA1574. This is a new vaccine candidate that's coming out of a major collaboration between Moderna and the National Institutes of Health. So, unlike a traditional vaccine that might inject a weakened or dead virus, mRNA-1574 does something way different. It delivers a set of instructions, that's the messenger RNA, that tells our own cells to build a harmless little piece of the HIV virus. This piece then acts like a training dummy for our immune system, a wanted poster, if you will. And if this whole mRNA thing is ringing a bell, well, it absolutely should. It's the exact same breakthrough technology that was used to create some of the most effective COVID-19 vaccines. We've all seen just how powerful and fast this platform can be, and now it's being aimed squarely at one of our oldest viral enemies. Okay, so we know it delivers instructions, but what actually happens next? How does this clever process train our immune system to gear up for a real fight with HIV? Let's break it down. It's really this elegant three-step play. First, the vaccine delivers the mRNA recipe. Then, your own cells act like tiny factories, reading that recipe to build harmless proteins that look just like the virus's outer shell. 
And finally, your immune system's security guards spot these strange new proteins, sound the alarm, and start building a specialized army of antibodies, getting them ready for the real invader. But here's the thing, not all antibodies are created equal. The real goal, the absolute holy grail here, isn't just making any antibodies, it's about generating something called broadly neutralizing antibodies, or BNABs for short. Think of it this way. HIV is constantly changing its coat. A normal vaccine might only recognize the blue coat. But BNABs are special forces. They're trained to recognize the part of the virus that never changes, no matter what coat it's wearing. That makes them powerful against tons of different strains. Now I know this all sounds incredibly exciting, and it is, but we've got to pump the brakes for a second and ground ourselves in the reality of how science works. This is still really early, and there's a long, careful road from a lab to your local pharmacy. So right now, the vaccine is in what's called a phase one clinical trial. This is the very first step in human testing. The trial itself is called HVTN302, and it's sponsored by the NIH, which shows you just how much weight is behind this research. So let's talk about the timeline because this is important. This first trial is all about two things. Is it safe? And does it kickstart the right kind of immune response? But this stuff takes time, a lot of time. In fact, this first study isn't expected to even finish until around June of 2027. This is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. And to give you a sense of the scale here, this initial trial is super focused. We're talking about just 100 volunteers. This small number allows researchers to collect really, really detailed data on safety and the immune response before they even think about moving to bigger trials. So, who are these volunteers? Well, they're HIV-negative adults aged 18 to 55, and for every single one of them, safety is priority number one. They're being watched like hawks, while scientists analyze every little detail of how their bodies are responding to the vaccine. So what's the bottom line on when you could see this? Let's be really clear. Even if this phase one trial goes perfectly, the vaccine still has to pass bigger, more complicated phase two and three trials. So public availability before 2027 is just, it's not in the cards. And that's the best case scenario, assuming everything goes right every step of the way. Okay, with that long timeline in mind, let's zoom out again and look at the big picture. Why is this early stage research giving so many people such a powerful glimmer of hope for the future? Well, the optimism isn't just based on a cool theory. Before this ever went into humans, the vaccine was tested in animal studies. And the results? They were really promising. The vaccinated subjects showed a significant drop in their risk of getting infected with an HIV-like virus. And that's exactly the kind of data you need to see to justify moving forward to human trials. All right, let's wrap this up. What are the key things you need to walk away with? First, this is a totally new strategy in a very old fight. Second, it's built on that proven mRNA technology we now know so well. Third, the goal is crystal clear create those powerful all-star BNABs. And finally, yeah, it's still early days, but this represents one of the biggest rays of hope in HIV prevention that we've seen in a very long time. And that leaves us with one last massive question to think about. We saw mRNA technology take on a global pandemic at record speed. Now we're seeing it take on the immense challenge of HIV. Could this adaptable instruction-based platform be the master key we've been searching for? The one that could finally unlock vaccines for our toughest, most elusive viruses? Well, only time and a whole lot of science is going to tell.